What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Shades, and we're going to start another Persona 3 Let's Play. But this time, because Persona 3 Portable gives us two options, we're going to be playing the girl. I'm only recording one episode today because I just finished um, the guy walkthrough, and there's not much difference between both, but the thing is the differences do un amount to enough for me to change and make the Let's Play to the girl. Of course, the girl will be a bit easier and a bit faster to play because uh, the game is exactly the same, but I will still be showing you guys the main events as the girl, but of course, cutting out the grinding. So yeah, I'll, be, I'll still be cutting out the grinding. Hopefully a lot better than before because I'll be keeping my 30 minute long uh, playtime and um, I'll be doing a new game plus so I keep my my previous compendium so <laughs> this game should be a lot easier uh, hope and maybe a little shorter I hope not well actually it'll have less parts only cuz like like for the first two-thirds of my uh, guy walkthrough it was 15 minutes cuz I thought it would be enough but no it's gonna be like a hundred 200 plus parts if I kept it at, if I kept it at 15 minutes but anyway I've been rambling long enough it's not the girl let's play I've actually never played the girl and there's not much difference, but there's enough difference for me to go like, hey, I want to try this. Um, I'll be doing normal this time, because, like I said, I have, like, New Game Plus, so I keep my compendium. So, it's a lot easier to fuse. Yes, I, uh, but the thing is, I cannot be revived if I happen to die in-game. So, whatever! But yeah, the, the, the girl has a separate voice actor, too. So, like, even though, like, we don't get a lot of voice, and also we get to talk to the guys instead. Time never waits. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this, but I still love this game. And after just finishing the guy walkthrough, it made me want to play the girl even more. I didn't want this to end. I love this game. Of course, and I did say I was gonna play Persona Four. I'm thinking of making that a weekly, um, hour-long uh, pl let's play. So I'll be posting that once once a week. So stay tuned. At some point, I'll be doing that. But yeah, I never played the girl before, and the color scheme is slightly different, and I think we live on the third floor instead, with the other girls. So yeah, stay tuned. Also, I'm also thinking of uh, getting a PS2 emulator for this, and playing Persona 3 FES, and going through that, and getting to the epilogue chapters that they added to it, and I'm thinking of doing that as well. Because the epilogue chapters um, are a bit unique in that they're, it's them trying to um, get Min Minato back. It's kind of cool, and I never even seen Let's Plays of it, and I, and I want to experience it for myself. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Oh, hey, Yukari! It's the bay! I just... put it to my head, and pull the trigger. No chickening out. As is, we know that... Huh, I really wish I could give both. Um, let's play that honest like interpretation, no. but because I played the game before, and no matter how, and no matter what, I can't. I'm, I don't want to fake it, so yeah. And also, I'll be a lot more animated for this one because when I played Persona Three when I started, oh my god, was I awkward. Inside the passenger train, on a house do. Malfunction in the switching system. Today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. He just elongates the last syllable. Iwa Todai. Like he's disgusted, like, oh, I hate my job. So I'm trying to resize the screen. Iwa that, didn't, Todai. that didn't work. This is whatever. Train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Fuck it, whatever. I don't care. Please take care to board before our departure. Of course. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. <laughs> and the color scheme's a little different, too. They make it pink. I mean, uh, it's a little sexist to do that, because why not just keep it the same? But again, up to Japan and Atlas, however they want to program it. Welcome back to the dark hour, guys. Mm. Well, yep, see? Different voice actor. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm. It would be probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Coffins! As you walk from the station. You notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Seriously, like, if you didn't realize that, um, the main character for this game has been influenced by the Dark Hour since birth, because he was there when, I guess, like, when he was there, when this all was created, so... 
I'm trying not to give too many spoilers, cause, cause like people may just go straight to my girl walkthrough, so I'm not gonna say anything. But yeah, like it's it's kind of odd that the main character like walks into the city and then just doesn't react. He's like, oh coffins, let's just go. I mean, wouldn't you? Gakuran High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Oh, my, my camera's frame rate dropped too for no reason. Yeah. Welcome. Ah, Faros! You're late. I've been waiting a long time. How long have you been waiting, boy? An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I choose the fate. I choose the fate of my own free will. Below is a blank to sign your name. Um, there have been a lot of discussion as to what. There have been a lot of like. Um, like debate as to what the me female's uh, female uh, main character's name is. Uh, people say her name is Minako or Hamuko uh, Arisato, and like, uh, it like people people like like people hate the names regardless. But the thing is, um, the, what seems to be established and widely accepted by the fan base is Minako Arisato. And for all of those out there who want to watch this playthrough because I'm doing the girl playthrough, um, no, I don't ship them. Because you know why? Because they're two, like, alternate realities in my opinion. Or, at the very least, they're siblings. They're not meant to be shipped together, even though they do kind of look cute together. I'm not- oh, whoops, that's not supposed to be there. There was a blank space. I have a black space and I'll write your name! Uh, oops, I put Minato, whoopsies! Ko, and there's also Hamuko, and like... I, I've seen a couple of complaints here and there about the name, but... Honestly, I think the name's pretty good, and like, since they are like... Like, the, like the closest thing I can say is gender-bent versions of each other, like, the best I can, I can call it is like... Oh, the name should at least sound similar. But like, personally, I would prefer it if like, Atlas made one where they're in the same game like why does it have to be only one wild card why can't it be two and you just switch control off because guess what um or you can just write both in like just guess what like in the rpg aspects of the game you're doing turn based anyway so whatever i mean that would be smarter and kind of cool too arisato so let's finish signing this paper and hit start proceed yes and for all y'all guys out there who are still, well. who are still sexist, like like certain characters in this video game, well, guess what? It doesn't matter if a guy plays a girl or a girl plays a guy. It's up to you. And personally, I prefer it when get RPGs allow a girl walkthrough. Because guess what? There are girl fans in this game too. And Persona 4, while I love the game to bits, there I expected a girl walkthrough in Persona 4 Golden. All you gave me was a new character. And I'm not complaining, but I would like a girl walkthrough. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. I kind of wish it did sometimes. And so it begins. We're back, guys. I can't keep, I can't say we're back be only because like there are people who will completely and utterly ignore my boy way boy walkthrough and go for the girl walkthrough, and I can't keep saying we're back because but the thing is we this one came afterwards so. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for all the persona that keep Who's I keep there? putting out. Uh it's just this is the this is one of the few games that I can play that doesn't kill my recorder or my laptop. If I had a full blown desktop, that would be different. I would be playing other games. How can you be but it's Are you gonna shoot me? Don't tell me. The girl's holding something that looks like a gun. Wait. And that's the end of the shortest dark hour we'll ever experience. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My I name apologize. is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. I'm sorry! Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. 
the hell? Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. What the hell is going on? Why am I just dropping frames for no reason? This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Nice to meet uh, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. By the way, one thing I always find weird about the fan base is that Minato is always like is always like drawn or depicted as like a calm, cool, collected guy, and then Minako is direct is like is like always portrayed as a cutesy, uh, adorable girl with a whole bunch of energy and emotion. I'm just like, why not make them both the same? It's kind of cool. Like like or like 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 give Minato some energy, but then again, if you look at the P3 movie, he has no emotion whatsoever. But oh, one thing I will say about the P3 movie: if they make another one and use Minako in there, that'd be kind of awesome. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Like it's the same movie. Only they put Minako in there and then switch it around for the gender for the gender specific scenes. That'd be awesome. Atlas, get on there. Your thing Whoever made the movie. There. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow. Oops, I. Dormitory, third floor hallway. See, we lived on the second floor, right? This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Does that boy live here? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. It's funny to me. The car does not seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. <laughs> All right then. Oh my eyes! Something in my eyes. You, Kari, walked down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Use the directional buttons or analog stick. Blah blah blah. This is just stuff. But yes, basically, all they did was take the take the guy's um room and the guy's color scheme and change it so that's girlier. And personally, it's not a big deal because. It's not that big of a deal. But I do like what they did with the character, because they didn't just like give him long hair and then make him wear a skirt. No, they actually made a specific character. Like her eye her her she's different facially. Look at her right over there. Like she has brown hair, it's tied up. She still has a blank expression sorta, of, but like her eyes are red, it's like there's no similarity. Except for the maybe the uniform part and the height, but that's pretty much it. Anyway, sleepy time. This girl has no idea what she's in for. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I slept fabulously. Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. Well, thank you. Are you ready to go? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Okay, then let's go. <laughs> let's be rude. I can go by myself, God. <laughs> Is the soundtrack different too? Cool! You're getting a whole new soundtrack to listen to. Inside the new city passenger train, Anna Hazaru. Oh, this is amazing! We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Okay, uh, someone has to explain this to me. Is New Game Plus giving me a new soundtrack, or is it just that I'm just playing the girl and they gave her a different soundtrack? Because the other one was like R&B and have stuff. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! I like it, it's bouncy! <laughs> Morning. Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukon High! You're gonna- Oops, I skipped that too early. You're okay from here, right? You should yeah. go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? That wasn't much of a tour, you just told me the entrance. Where's my classroom? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? No problem. See you later. See ya. <laughs> Moe! 
Okay. Okay, there's Kaz and uh, Yuko. Hey Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started, blah blah blah. I never talked to these guys. Let's see, whose room am I in? You can't find your name. Keep looking. Small note with your name on it, Mirako Arisato, class F. You'll take a closer look and notice the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Seems you'll be in the same class as her. Oh, what the hell? Oh, we're in different classes. Eh, whatever. Hmm. That's weird. Her outfit's different. Maybe she's from Persona 2. I never played Persona 2 or 1, but she does look familiar, because I've seen a couple a couple of the characters from Persona 1 and 2, but I don't know their names, so... I went on the right one. Look, it's Baby! Oh, it's Baby! Baby! What's up, Baby? Anyway, who's this? She's from Persona 2! Huh. I think they are, because they look really familiar to me, and I have looked up Personas 2. Persona 2's um, uh, characters a couple of times, but I never, I don't remember their names. But if they give you a character model, that's probably the throwback, because I don't because I don't know the throwback, because each Persona game does have a throwback to the older one, except one, of course. But, but yeah. Oh, are you the new student? Minako, Minako Arisato. That's great, correct? Yeah. They just flip me through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Hell yeah! Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents. <laughs> this is such a weird topic to talk about with this background music. I'm sorry. I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. See? It's so bouncy and like it sounds so sad, and you're talking about such a sad subject I'm right now. Tori Yumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Thanks for welcoming me! And by the way, I'm not faking this. This is actually my personality. Um, nice to meet you. Such enthusiasm. We could use more go-getters like you. Hell yeah. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. All right. Follow me. Let's go. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb... If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> when applied to student life, this means... The principal could teach us with his speech. Yeah. You can hear the students around you whispering about something. I got a transfer student. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. That sounds like Akihiko's voice actor. I hear talking. Oh, the dialogue's different. Wow. And I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. It's, I don't. It doesn't seem that the rumors will stop anytime soon. That's weird. The dialogue's different too. This song is so misplaced. <laughs> Hello, Omar was over. You be, your first after-school session yeah, is about to dude. begin. Hello. <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Wow, the, the, the dialogue's different. Wow, okay. I didn't know there was this much difference. I thought it was all the same. Who are you? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Clearly, I was in distress. <sighs> At it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Uh, it's okay, it's on me. I'm clearly a pretty, a beautiful woman. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? Uh, to be honest, I'd be a, a slightly bothered if someone just suddenly came up to me and started talking. But then again, like, I do like friendly people, and Junpei's friendly enough. Without the whole, uh, you know, getting to know him. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway... Some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Let's be best buddies. We could paint each other's nails. I'm glad to have a friend. A friend? Oh, you mean me? Oh, come on, we're not friends. In, a, in another life, you dated me. Excuse you, you forgot. Hey, we made a promise, remember? I was gonna meet you. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, I. 
I'm glad we ended up in the same class, too. I have to adjust my glasses, because they're... Um, hello? Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun! Who are you again? <laughs> By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. Oh, great rumors, yay. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Are they really? Oh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. Rumors are gonna happen, it's high school. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've gotta go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? What is she, your nanny? Until I get used to this school, I suppose she's my nanny. Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. Did you know? I am a beautiful young woman. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. Sure. You're kidding, right? Let's do it, Sassy. Ouch! Yucatan's rubbing off on you already, huh? Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Jumpe oh, cut up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Oh, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Jumpe while walking back. There's a sign and cheat on the counter. Yeah, you can save there. Welcome back. Thank you, Mitsuru Senpai. Save. Oh man, my old saves. I wonder, is it different? Oh yeah, it is. Hey! It just makes you realize I have to get a new thumbnail for this one. Uh, I'll do that later. Oh, oh, you really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. What? Hey! Oh, hi, what are you doing? Just looking around. Well, there's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Why is everyone telling me to go to bed? What are you, my moms? My lesbian moms? <laughs> oh, the shipping is powerful. Later at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Masura was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. THEM! Clearly, they're hiding something. You couldn't like I. Unfortunately, there. I don't think it's actually a subtle way to, to put to point out that the that we're up to something. There's no subtle way of doing it. It's like it's up to them, and they of course they put it in all caps. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. Oh, oh God, early Akihiko. Oh dear. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. It's a game if you think it is. <laughs> huh. I'm, I think I'm gonna enjoy this run through as a girl, because like, this is interesting. But the new soundtrack is starting to get on my nerves, because it's so misplaced sometimes. Did you hear the rumor? Um, something about a bathroom. No! Not that one, I mean the story about the first year student. Not only does she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries talking to her, it'll, she only mutters to herself, it's it's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? You don't believe me. I mean, this is really calming, but I think it's, I think it's such a, it's just it takes some getting used to, I guess. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at your first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I rather teach Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. And I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's textbook next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, um, who'd she like? Utsuba Kubota. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. You Man, you saved my bacon, Minako. You hear your West classmates whispering. Minik Minako gave him, the cr gave him the answer. She must be paying attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. <laughs> There's nothing to do, so I just have to go back to the dorm. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, familiar soundtrack. 
Your car is already here, talking with an unfamiliar oh, man. She's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. You. <laughs> My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hello. <laughs> hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. Not that hard to say. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. You look like you're in your like late twenties, mid thirties. I'm pretty sure if at this point you cannot pronounce your own name without with with ease, it's a problem. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Ah, don't worry about it. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why'd you come here? You, of course. Okay. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Who else there is are here? only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Sure. Do you have another question? I saw something really you odd. You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Really? 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 Oh my god. Wow, they changed the dialogue to something girlier. Uh, I mean, it's not a big problem because this is something typical, like... But the thing is, like, you don't know this girl, so for all you know, she doesn't care. Like, if she, if, if you knew, like, like she cared about her skin and something like that, then you, you could say that. But the thing is, you don't really know. I mean, I would say that to a guy if he cared about his skin a lot. I care about my skin sometimes. I have notoriously dry skin. Ugh. Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? No, not really. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. So do I. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Why does everyone keep telling me to go to bed? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. The early bird catches the worm, book should not be in there. Please forgive the bad pun. It wasn't a pun at all. Like, there was no context for you to use birds or worms or anything. I know puns. I know my friends with them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. I make lame jokes all the time, believe me. I love making lame jokes, it's so fun. It's time to return to your dorm and sleep. Oh, look, it's me, sleeping. Later, at the certain room of the dormitory. Ah, oh, the command room. Working hard? Or hardly working. So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. The upbeat music is playing for the radio the man that the man threw away. Hit the triangle button by mistake. My bad. And when you need a triangle, it just skips. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> huh? What the? What's happening to me? I guess this is the process of turning into an actual shadow. Kinda terrifying if you say if you ask me. I should stop giving spoilers. Back to the third room of the dormitory. Hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. My voluptuous human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. 
In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Master. Master Minako Arisato. Excuse me, mistress. Also, Elizabeth is not here. Give it a couple seconds. Wait! Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Hi! This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Of course. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. Will I? I only ask one thing in return. That you abide by the contract, and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Okay. I understand. Hold on to this. I find it really funny if like someone went through this and was just like, okay, I'm not gonna ask questions at all. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, um for the girl walkthrough, you don't get Elizabeth, you get someone else. Till we meet again. We'll meet him next time Igor summons us, I believe. Which might be in the next episode, I don't know. You feel like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. The weird soundtrack! It, is, it takes some getting used to. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. It's time like this, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? I've noticed that sometimes because like, I, I, sometimes, like, I get sleep deprived and I fall asleep in class. Don't sleep in class! What? You have to be- what, you have to, why do you have to be all serious? The feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. And that's why that's a problem. Oh, we have a classic lip today. That means we're stuck with old Mr. Old Nasty Old Dakota. Ahem. I'm Mr. Akoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to the everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The students, the, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. If you feel tired, close your eyes for a few minutes, stay awake. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, Tristan, open your textbooks. First, our syllabus is, is Isen Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stand up and listen to the lecture. Academics increased. Gotta get those up real fast. Meet your car at the shoe boxes and decide to go back together. Everything's new, I guess. Probably Have you mom. come here before? No. Nope. A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. Oh, I'm guessing that because with a guy, you get a guy bestie, and with a girl, you get a girl bestie. Yay! There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. I mean, I can still go in there. The Polonium Mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Moon is beautiful tonight. It might be once we read a book. Well, it might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the recording here because I have to be somewhere in a bit. Again, I'm a really busy guy, unfortunately. But anyway, this is I, plus it's passed by recording by usual episode length anyway. So anyway, um, I do not have no plans of ever stopping this. Like, like in all honesty, like I do like wanted to. I, I did want want to entertain the fact of playing that this part, but I never did because I gave my friend back the game before I played it. But now I have a chance to play the girl walkthrough, and honestly, I it seems to be interesting. Um, it's the same as Persona. It's it's the same as um. 
It's the same as uh, the guy I walked through, but there doesn't seem to any. But there seem to be fundamental differences, like the pro pronouns, of course, and uh, how they treat you as a person. Like, of course, like because it's kind of weird, you're like gender bias and teaching girls and guys differently. But whatever, it's not a big deal. And I do want to kind of want to play it because, like, the, the, I want to see the differences in the storytelling, and it sounds interesting. So anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you see what. Uh, da, 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 da. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. And anyway, you are now exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys later. I hope you're playing more games like this in the future, where they have both genders. But anyway, bye!